So, it's December, and this is all wrong. And not and not seeing a ton of sun today no. either. But we did have a lot of wind. These peak wind gusts. Look at that in Denton, a 54 mile an hour wind gust, 47 miles an hour in Fort Worth, 48 miles an hour in McKinney. So really impressive wind. That wind advisory completely warranted today. It has since expired, but it's going to be gusty for the next couple of hours, and the winds will be breezy into tonight as well. Southerly winds. Cloudy skies, as we talked about, a few peaks of sun here and there, but for the most part, a lot of cloud cover today, but still very warm with upper 70s and low 80s. And we're not going to see the temperatures fall too much into tomorrow morning. We've got mid and upper 60s for most of us. A couple of spots, Bowie, Graham, you notice low 60s and upper 50s at this point for tomorrow morning. But watch what happens into the afternoon. Definitely know a cold front is moving in, but it's going to stall. So, what that means, if you are ahead, of the cold front, temperatures are still going to be in the mid and upper 70s tomorrow, so you're still going to want to dress for warmer weather. Now, if you're behind the cold front, we're talking about low to mid 60s, so you can see Gainesville, Bowie, Bridgeport looking at 65 to 67 degrees, maybe low 70s for Denton and McKinney. Really, still not a bad day, especially for mid December, but it's the first of two cold fronts that we're talking about just over the next couple of days. So, watch this move in from the north as we make our way into Thursday afternoon. Eventually, it starts to stall out kind of right along that I-20 corridor. So we will have the possibility of some scattered showers, maybe a few storms in East Texas as well. Cloudy skies behind the front, those northerly winds. As far as the severe weather threat goes, with this cold front tomorrow and the front that we're talking about for Friday, not a ton of instability with this. So we're going to watch for a few stronger storms to the east of I-35 tomorrow afternoon, mainly really in our eastern counties and then into East Texas. But the threat is low. It's just a one out of five, that marginal risk for some gusty winds and maybe some hail. We'll keep you updated on that. Then we get into Friday. Our second stronger cold front will arrive, but this is a little bit different from yesterday. Watch the timing of this. We've got this warm front up to the north through the afternoon. So there will still be some scattered showers even into the Metroplex come four, five, six o'clock in the evening. But the bulk of that heavier rain now looks to move in after 10 o'clock as that cold front kind of sinks to the south. So we still have some scattered showers going on for Saturday morning. Still kind of some widespread rain. Coverage is still at about 50%, 6, 7 a.m. And then eventually we get that rain to clear out. We'll be, still be left with those cloudy skies, though. Much cooler weather in the forecast. We've got 50s for Saturday and Sunday. And by Sunday morning, a low of 34 degrees, Brooke. Oh, wow. Aaron, thank you so much.